Hello, good day to everyone. A very short clip on how to interpret the war page in Fusion Mode Flow Advisor. We'll show it in in a two minute or so. You have to run a, at least a fill pack. The analysis sequence should be, you know, fill pack and warp. Of course, you can add the cooling quality and sync mark to it if it is added needed to it. Run the analysis and you should have the results called as the warpage onto the left hand side of your screen and the first and foremost result is deflection all effect will get back to you and then is a warpage indicator all effect. Click on it warpage and you should get the warpage constraint results. By default it will be set to the best fit. Now what does the best fit is that it will try to Put the anchor plane in such a way that the warpage in the part is minimal and most of the times it gets and fit into the center of the part but not necessarily it is every time it will fit in such a way that the warpage is set to the minimum okay and then you should get an uh, something called as a nominal maximum warpage on the basis of it it shows whether it is a high medium and low the indicator values i can restore it to the default and apply it so that it shows everything is is low means what ha it does it mean that whatever the warpage i have got in my component is 100 percent within that given limit but i can change this limit say to 0.2 and uh, i can able to find that hey 67 percent or 68% is in the green medium is this area and this so it just gives a visual representation on basis of of this point to whether this point this is the area which is not been followed or within that given criteria now there is another way by applying the anchor plane like look like this I want to put an anchor plane onto the flatness of this one so I can choose uh, I can always go and say that delete I will delete it and I'll start from the very basic and say add the first and most point is that the e is a zero anchor plane point and then the second is the x-axis and the third one is the or sorry the second one is the x-axis and the third one is the xy plane now you can see that this I have made it flat this is gets just going to be rested and on that basis I am looking at the point two area whether it is I can make these as 1 mm and uh, try to put and see yes everything is within the 1 mm okay so with respect to this so usually you know wherever there is a flatness I will try putting the anchor plane now there is other way to look at the warpage is with the help of magnitude what we have say just seen is in terms of the the nominal value now with respect to the magnitude I have put it to the anchor plane and this is XY uh, plane has been put and I can uh, review that and examine it what is the warpage at each and every uh, uh, edge of it okay. or I can also modify it if I'm not so uh, okay with the anchor plane I can just go and say that I put me onto the best fit and it goes and put the it removes the anchor plane and it goes and fit to the, the best fit and this is the magnitude we have put and always you can examine it it shows with reference to the CAD the original CAD how much it has deviated from it and you can zoom it and try to find it now there is other way that you can also change the uh, magnitude of it say make it a 5 and uh, you can see that I little bit zoomed in the magnitude remains the same I just exaggerated that one there's no change uh, in terms of the magnitude just for the better visualization I did it uh, 
there are optional setting to view it into the different colors or or so and then uh, yeah so feature lines on and off transparent uh, scaling if you want to have very specifically hey i want to see what's happening between 0.4 only to 0.6 apply it and it shows that this is the area that is between 0.4 to 0.46 this gives a better understanding hey this is the area that is having uh, more and above the what has been recommended sometimes you put that you know uh, tolerance value and you want to see that which is above the tolerance value okay so yeah you can you can do this thing so pretty much uh, everything you can also look it in the control plot if you want to do it uh, those things uh, pretty much that's all I have on the war pitch uh, result interpretations uh, on to the reflection all effect but uh, there's other way is that I can split it into the uh, four screens and I can see that what is because of the all effect deflection uh, let me close and put it these to the properties deflection sorry uh, scaling all frames apply it and methods I will make it as shaded okay and this is been I also lock all the views and then I will look at for the what is it because of the differential cooling uh, then what is because of the differential shrinkage and this is because of the uh, differential or the differential orientation effect so if you see that the majority of the impact is happening because of the differential shrinkage all all that goes over here okay so uh, unless until you put the cooling line you will not able to find the effect of the cooling because it assumes that it's a uniform temperature distribution across the core and cavity which is much idyllic situation so if you want to see the real effect of the cooling you have to apply the cooling channels and then you apply it orientation effect will take into considerations when you are running the analysis with the fiber filled material like 20 percent 30 percent short fiber filled materials great thank you very much for your time and i hope this clip is useful for you